All right, team, as a continuation of the LBO case study solution for Baby Burgers LLC, a totally fictional but awesome company. In this segment, we are going to build a simple LBO returns analysis. In this first example, we will be showing you how to calculate the return on sponsor equity, which is to say the cash invested by the private equity firm. This is generally pretty easy and we can do it with a simple schedule but we are starting simple because this schedule is going to evolve to include additional participants. In a successful transaction, the cash invested by a private equity firm is generally distributed to three groups at exit. First, you have the investors or limited partners that provide the capital to make the investment. Then you have the private equity investment team or general partner that made the investment and held it through a successful exit. And finally, you have the management team, managing the day-to-day -day operations of the business and driving growth. In the first schedule, which is what we will build in this video, we will be calculating the return on the entire equity investment. Then to start working up to the level of detail that includes all three groups. In the lesson that follows, we will walk through an example using percentages. In a private equity transaction, the management team will have a management incentive pool ranging from approximately 5% to 15%. This option pool dilutes the sponsor equity, which you can see here in the fully diluted column in our second example. Then in a third example, we will introduce the share count method, which simply means that instead of percentages, we will use shares or units, and the management incentive structure will be tiered to further align investors with the management team. What this means is that the management team will be entitled to a greater percentage of the proceeds if certain hurdles are met. And in this schedule, we have three hurdles to encourage performance. As a final step, we will demonstrate how the remaining proceeds are distributed between the limited partners and the general partner. This allows us to measure the performance fee or carry earned by the private equity firm and the return net of fees available to the limited partners. The third schedule includes a lot of detail and circular logic, and it is generally pretty difficult to get it right the first time. So to help cement these topics, we are starting with this simple schedule first. So let's get started building the simple exit analysis worksheet. To develop the framework required to measure potential returns for this investment, we need to do three things. Calculate enterprise value, calculate the value of common equity, and finally, determine the implied internal rate of return or IRR, and multiple of invested capital, or MOIC. So let's start with calculating enterprise value. Per the introduction, enterprise value can be calculated by taking the product of the EBITDA exit multiple and the company's exit year EBITDA. So in the schedule, you see that enterprise value is equal to the product of the values in cells K8 and K10. Next, we can move on to the value of common equity. To arrive at the value of common equity, start with enterprise value from step one, add back cash, and subtract total debt. And we'll arrive at a value of common equity equal to approximately $138 million. Finally, in the third step, we will calculate IRR and MOIC. In this first iteration, we're not going to consider the management incentive equity pool. In most private equity transactions, Per the introduction, somewhere between 5% and 15% of the equity will be reserved for the management team, which would otherwise dilute the percentage in this cell. But we will address this later and input 100% of the common equity for now. So how do we calculate returns? In the row labeled investment, the initial equity investment is included as a cash outflow or negative value which we will pull from the sources and uses table. Next, we will include the value of the common equity as a cash inflow in the exit year. This puts the investment and the proceeds realized from making that investment in the same row, which is important for the return calcs that follow. The final step is to include a formula for the IRR calculation and a formula for the MOIC calculation. For the IRR calc, we will use the equal XIRR function and select the array containing the investment's performance. 
and then select the array containing the dates over which the investment was made. And we get a value of 23.4%. MOIC, or multiple of invested capital, is a little easier. Divide the outcome in the exit year by the positive value of the amount originally invested. And for MOIC, we get a value of 2.9 times. And with that, we are done with the exit analysis worksheet for the time being. If everything up to this point has been built with a conservative bias, then you know that the returns shown in this output probably represent a reasonable expectation, assuming things go roughly as planned. But in reality, and especially in investing, things rarely go as planned. In fact, Howard Marks has an amazing quote on this topic. We hear a lot about worst case projections, but they often turn out not to be negative enough. I tell my father's story of the gambler who lost regularly. One day he heard about a race with only one horse in it, so he bet the rent money. Halfway around the track, the horse jumped over the fence and ran away. Invariably, things can get worse than people expect. Maybe worst case means the worst we've seen in the past. But that doesn't mean things can't get worse in the future. In 2007, many people's worst case assumptions were exceeded. As the quote suggests, it may be prudent to evaluate a variety of outcomes. And we will explore this process in a separate lesson. For the time being, what we are saying is that according to a conservative projection of historical trends, and with the capital structure laid out in the Sources and Uses tab, the investment outcome modeled in our worksheet is a reasonable outcome to expect. All right, team, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.